Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to some Sky Tea. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. So, last episode we got together and we got our antimatter stuff going. Uh, we're just about to get our first piece. Uh, it's just a few minutes after I recorded the last episode that we're getting started with this one because it's going to take me a lot of time to get through this episode. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, so I guess the best thing to do is to go home and let's get into it. So today we are at the point of needing to get into Vade Deck. Uh, this is a custom machineries. Uh, it uh, uses the customs machinery mod and we've got a lot of stuff that we need to do uh, advanced, we need a mixer the advanced encapsulator which is going to get us the ultimate machine block the ultimate machine block is going to get us the dimensional miner and once we get the dimensional miner going and set up we can mine all these different ores that we can't get any other way and that will in turn get us into the end of the pack our draconic evolution stuff and all that but in order to get there we've got a lot of stuff that we need uh this mixer it takes four different fluids and turns it into a different fluid uh, and it does consume quite a bit of power now i've done some looking and stuff like that we don't necessarily need all of these we've got six fluids that we need to do and out of these six, two of them, we don't need very many, much of. Uh, they're more or less used to get, is it the ore centrifuge? Uh, yeah, the ore centrifuge. We need four of the nutrient blocks and then four of the rainbow blocks, which we'll get probably a couple more set up. But the first ones that we really need to worry about right now are the vadium, and the mixed fuel. Those two are what we need to get the ultimate machine block in order to progress. The rest of them, the other two that we need out of the six are for Draconic Evolution, which I'm not necessarily too concerned about with yet. So let's take a look at the two that we need. Uh, the mixed fuel. This is going to need biofuel, bioethanol, refined fuel, and beyond earth fuel. So we've got to set up these four. And then for the Vadium, we need Essence, we need Crude Oil, we need Lava, we need DT Fuel. Now, my goal with this is to set this all up separate from what we've got right now. Um, I want to keep our DT Fuel we've got on our stuff out there. Not DT Fuel, but our Tritium and stuff going for that uh separate that way we can boost power uh here in a bit so i don't want to worry about that we're gonna have to set up another one of those uh crude oil the only way we can get crude oil in this pack is either we can go all the way through here um heavy oil it's crude oil we've got oily bees We've got that way. And then we do have the centrifugal separator. And we do have a recipe for um, to make the uh, bitmus sand. So we may look at doing that if the bees aren't enough. But the bees are where we're going to go. Because I do have um, already done the fishing. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So there's enough to do two hives worth of these. So um, what I'm thinking, uh, I'm debating whether I want to set this. We might as well set this all up here. I was debating whether or not I was going to do it, but I'd like to keep it all to where I can keep an eye on everything and make sure it's all going. Um, we've already got this kind of going we're going to change this completely and get that going but i guess first things first is let's get started with some of these fluids i've got a lot of work to do
All right, so everything is set up now. We are ready to see if we can do this. We're going to go ahead and craft two mixers. And that's going to be right now just for the two blocks that we need to progress through this. And it looks like we've got everything that we need for it. It shouldn't be... It doesn't look to be too bad. It's a lot of... stuff. A lot of different items. So I think what I've decided is I've done some mathing. And for this, um, to make the block itself, it's going to take a ton of power. Um, so we're going to set up just the fluids. And not do the blocks just yet. Um, before we could do that, I've got to get that situated. Um, and if we go in here, um, mechanism, that is capacity. If I wanted to do 10 of those, we've got everything that we need. I'm not going to start this up right now. That is a ton of stuff to do. But we can do that. Uh, so I'm probably going to work on that in between episodes here just to get that going. We're probably going to have to make this a bit bigger. Uh, and we'll be ready to connect our reactor up to that. So, but right now, we are waiting on these to finish up. All right. Wasn't too bad. There we go. Mixer is now complete. Awesome. That's going to give us uh, just experience. And then our advanced encapsulator. That is right here. We're going to need a couple of these. I don't. I probably should set up a recipe for this too. Actually, no, because we're only going to need one. Because we're going to... I think what I'm going to do is set the fluids up to be made. And then we'll do one encapsulator providing the fluid and the block as the pattern. I think that's what we're going to try to do. Alright, so this wasn't too bad to get set up. Uh, I've got a export bus set to export bioethanol, biofuel, refined fuel, and fuel. And then it is making our mixed fuel. We've got six buckets already, or six and a half buckets. That's enough to make six blocks. We're going to need a lot of this. Uh, that's why we've got these guys all set up. So, but now that I've got this one set up, we need to do our next one, which is going to be for the Vadium. So, two, one, two. All right, let's get that done. All right, so we've got this one ready to go to our Vadium. And so here's what I have figured out. It does not use any power per tick. Uh, basically, what happens is it makes it, and then it takes all the power. So that's not too bad. Every time this makes it, it's taken uh, 800,000 fe because i have these they're not set to bypass the limit so both of these now should be showing up in our system beautiful now i need to run back home right quick i just want to check our power situation before we finish we're not going to do the blocks just yet uh no we're still good just every once in a while it takes a huge dump and these guys, if I could do this, yeah, we're we're still good. Um, so that was what I was worried about. So, but now we have uh, our mixers. We need to get our recipe set up for the advanced encapsulator. We'll do that next episode right quick to get those. And then we will get a little bit further into uh, Vade Tech. We'll get our dimensional miner looked at. Uh, and then kind of go from there. I don't know if we'll get any further into that, but we knew, well, we're going to have to. We've got to make it at least to the, I don't know if it's the alloy smelter or it's the blast furnace. 
that we need to get to so we can get into Draconic Evolution. And once we get into Draconic Evolution, we it, it's these recipes start to get a little bit crazy. But for now, no cool more quests to complete. Nope, we're good. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!